What's up everyone and welcome back to the third video in the Python tutorial series. Today we're going to be working on strings. And so strings are basically just text data. It's anything that's not numbers. So we're going to start off by just making a string as a variable. We'll just do this is a test string. And then we can print that out and we can show that's a string. This is a test string. There we go. And then in the previous video, we showed that you can add things together. And I just want to show that these are different types and you cannot add them together. So if we did like four plus four, we get an error because one is a string and one is an int. So I'll just undo, go back to our previous string. And we can do lots of interesting things with strings. So we can, I started off with double quotes. You normally do double quotes, but you can also do single quotes around each word. And it doesn't make any difference. But what if we want to do something like something that goes across multiple lines, like this is a test and then this is on another line. So I just hit enter like you would in a normal text document and then I'll hit F5 and then you get EOL while scanning string literal. What this means is end of line. It's looking for the end of the line and it can't find it because it's it's expecting the end of the quote and it never comes. So what we actually do is we use an escape character which is the backslash and then we do n for new line and then I'm gonna hit F5 again and we can see this is on another line so it works correctly then. The next thing I'm gonna show is sometimes we want something some sort of string that already has quotes in it, so it, it might screw you up. So you might have something like like that. And so this gets screwed up because it turns out that you have a single quote which is encapsulating the entire quote but you also have a single quote within the string. And so it's ending the string early and you just have that loose T. And so what you can do is you can do an escape character like we did in the other one. And then it will go through with no errors. I'll print it this time. And you can see it got it got the single quote in there and there's no errors. Sometimes you might want to print something out multiple times or just have some repetition. And the way you can do that is you can just make your string and then you can just do times three or times however many times you want. So then it'll print out prints out bye bye bye. Another example I can show you guys is if you're doing something like you might have a file name and it seems like it'll work because that's that's pretty simple but then what actually happens is you it prints out C some name and what's actually happening is the escape character is in there and it's got escape n and it's pushing it to a new line. So what you want to do with these is you do a real string. So you put an R in front of it. And then when we print it out, it'll ignore the escape keys. So it'll just print out exactly what you have written in there and ignore any special function. Earlier I showed how we can use the new line function. But sometimes you might have something that's too long. 
and you don't want it you don't want to have to type in backslash n every single time so what you do is you use triple quotes like I just did and you can type in something like this is a multi line string and it is very long and so this will do the same thing where you see it prints out on multiple lines and you don't have to type in backslash n every single time Another thing that I can show you guys is concatenating strings, which is basically putting them all together. And this will be done automatically, so we can type out something whoops, not capital. So we can print out something like concatenating strings is automatic and basically it's taking four separate strings and it's piecing them all together automatically. And so one thing to note with that is that if we try it with something else like our example string and then we just try to do concatenate and so we're trying to concatenate or put together our original sample string and this string that just says concatenate test and we get this error it says invalid syntax and so what we're going to do with this is we actually have to put in a plus sign in order to piece those two together and now it's, this is on another line concatenate test Next thing I'm going to show you guys is indexing and how to handle individual words. So if we have something that's just like the word Python saved as a string, then we can do something like this, where if we're trying to grab just the first letter, then we can do word open bracket zero close bracket. And what that's going to do is it's going to grab the zeroth index from word which turns out to be P. So there we go, P. And this works with, if we do one, it'll do the next letter, Y. And then on top of that, we can do something called slicing. So if we want to grab multiple letters, we could grab letters zero through four, and it'll grab pipe. Another useful thing we can do is we might want to grab the last letter of something so we can grab, we can enter a negative number and that will grab negative spots from the end basically. So that's going to grab N and then we can keep scooching over and grab negative 2 which is the second to last item. And we can also do negative slices. So we could do negative 1, or let's do 0 to negative 4. And basically what that did is it, it grabbed the from the start to the fourth from last spot, which ended up to just be pi. And if you don't really fully understand um, the way those are indexed, you can look at this chart that they have and it shows that it starts 0 through 1 is basically P, 1 to 2 is Y, and so it's it starts at 0 and it goes up to 1 but does not include it. And then you can see the negative guides as well, so negative 1 is n, like we showed, and negative 2 is 0. And so that's a good reference if you ever need that. And then I'm going to show a little bit about error handling. So if we did something like Word 42, what is it going to do? Because it's Python isn't 42 letters long. 
So that one actually throws an error and it says string index out of range. So exactly like we would expect, it throws an error because it's trying to pull a letter from somewhere that doesn't exist. But if we do something like a slice, we could do 4, 2, 42. And it actually is able to just go, okay, I'm going to go from position 4 up until 42. And it just fills in the blanks and it figures out, oh, the last two are O, N, and then after that there's nothing. Another thing, another way we could do that is we could just leave it as 4 colon and then empty space and not even fill anything. And that's going to do the same thing. It's going to do 4 until the end of the string. So we get the same thing, O, N. Another function we can use is if you ever want to measure the length of a word, you can do word length, just len. You put len and then you put in parentheses word. And then it shows Python is a six letter string. That should be basically everything for strings today. Um, it looks like in the next one we are going to be doing lists. And so we'll discuss that and how you can put all kinds of different ob objects in lists and manipulate that in 